Hello all, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll see how to calculate maturity amount and interest amount on RD or recurring deposits. This is one of the best investment option if in case you're a salaried employee, wherein every month you're going to make payment of certain amount on installment basis. Suppose if in case you're investing 1000 rupees for a period of 6 months, at the end of 6 months you're going to get 6000 along with certain amount of interest. How to calculate that particular interest and the maturity amount is what we are going to look in now. I have already created a detailed video on uh, how the calculation of FD goes about happening and you can click on the link for the same wherein I have shown the calculation by making use of uh, FD function wherein the calculation is quite straightforward and is very too easy to use. But in case of RD, you can still use the same function, but you will not get the exact value. You might be getting minor differences. So that is the reason I'm not making use of the uh, FB function. So in that case, it becomes necessary for us in order to create a table like this in order to get the actual or the exact value as per the bank calculation. But by looking at the table, you might think it is complicated, but definitely it is not. So, we'll go step by step in order to calculate this. So, in order to show you the calculation purpose, I have taken the reference of uh, Yuko Bank and HDFC Bank, which I have it in my other sheet. If in case you invest in Yuko Bank, this is the receipt that you get. And I have blocked certain um, information. And you can see that the installment amount is 1000 rupees, deposit period is 12 months, and the rate of interest is 6.7%. So, you can see that they have given the maturity amount. Uh, this is the value that we are going to find out through our calculation. So, let's start. So, in this particular sheet, I have not entered any data. So, as per our reference, the installment amount is 1000 rupees and the interest rate is 6.7%. And my period of investment is 12 months. So you don't have to oh, type 1 to 12 uh, in this particular column. So it's uh, quite straightforward and easy. So just type 1. Now go with home. In home, go with this fill option. From fill, go with this series. In series, the step value is 1. It means after 1, I need to get 2. And stock value in this case is 12. So, because I am investing for 12 months, so make sure in series in you select it as columns because I want it in A column and then give OK. So, once you give OK, you can see automatically uh, 12 months have been filled in. So, this becomes very easy if in case you have 36 months or 50 months in just uh, this particular thing, you can just perform this. And now it is asking for the balance. So, now we need to put in the formula in order to calculate balance. So, for the first month, my balance will be 1000. Start out with equal sign and select that particular cell. For the second month, my balance will be this 1000 rupees plus the balance of the first month. In this case, make sure that you lock this B1 cell. So, in order to lock this, just press F4 and then press Enter. So, you can see in the balance of the second month is 2000, just double click. You can see in the third month 3000, 4000, 5000. And these amounts doesn't include interest. Next, interest is what we are going to find out. Now, in order to find out interest, uh, the formula is this balance into the interest rate. Now, you can see that we are making the calculation on monthly basis, but this interest rate is for annual basis. So, what you can do, I will just that edit that cell. So, start out with equal sign, 6.7% divided by 12. So, I need to know what is the interest rate for one particular month. So, 0.56% is the interest. So, start out with equal sign, this balance multiplied by the interest rate. Make sure that you lock the cell. Just press uh, F4 in order to lock the cell. Now just double click in order to calculate interest for all the 
adamants. Now the next step is that we need to find out quarterly interest. Now usually on RD banks make payment on quarterly basis and not on monthly basis. Also note if your bank is making payment on monthly basis you don't have to create this table. You can make use of future value or FB function. So how do you know whether your bank is making payment on a quarterly uh, basis? Now I'll take in the reference of uh, depo uh, deposit of uh, HDFC bank. In this case, if you scroll down, you can see here they have the terms and conditions. And here you can see that the interest on deposits is compounded on, on quarterly intervals. That means the interest is uh, calculated on quarterly intervals. Quarterly in the sense in one particular year, there are four quarters. So your Jan, Feb, March makes the first quarter. April, May, June forms the second quarter and so on. The interest for quarter 1 will be calculated in March and the balance of March will be carried off forward to the April month and that is how the calculation goes about happening. Now quickly we will find out the interest for March. So your first, second and third month uh, interest has to be total. Just press Alt and equals and then select this three cells and then press enter. So this is the uh, quarter 1 interest. And the quarter one balance will be start off with equal sign 3000 plus this interest and then press enter. So once you press enter, your quarterly interest and the balance gets calculated. And then this balance will be carried forward to March month. So the formula will remain the same, but instead of B7, my balance has to be taken. So select E7 and then press enter. So all the other things will remain the same. Only this change has to be done. And then now uh, similarly you need to calculate the interest for the second quarter. So second quarter interest will be calculated in June. So you don't have to type the formula fully. All you have to do is just give the shortcut control C. And I want to calculate for the month of June. Just give the shortcut Alt E S F. And then give OK. So similarly for uh, September for quarter 3, Alt-ESF and similarly for the last month which is December, Alt-ESF and automatically the uh, easily we have calculated the interest and balance. But we have made changes for the month of April, the same change has to be incorporated for the month of July as well. So just double click, so remove this and select this balance and then press enter. So similarly just double click, remove this and select this balance and just press enter. So once you do this automatically this is the maturity amount that uh, we are calculated and let's cross check if this is correct. So we will go to Yuko Bank's advice so you can see the maturity amount is 12,442 and that is what we have got here. And, uh, uh, as per HDFC bank, in this uh, you can see that the installment amount is 2000 but this is only for the period of 6 months and the rate of interest is 6.25%. So I'll just uh, quickly input these values. So installment amount is 2000 and the rate of interest is 6.25%. Automatically everything gets updated but this is just for Six months. So at the end of six months, this is the balance. So twelve thousand two one nine, and you can see twelve thousand two one nine is the maturity value. So this is how the calculation actually goes about happening in case of bank. So thank you for watching my video, and if you are seeing my video for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell icon for further updates.